Introducing YouTube memberships, a fun way to support the channel while getting some exclusive perks. Click the join button to become a member now and get benefits like badges next to your name on videos, behind the scenes photos, advantages during the live trivia game, discounts on merchandise, private one-on-one -on -one video chats, the ability to request future video topics, and exclusive 8-10 to 10 minute videos on the history of the NFL. And now, on with our feature presentation. When you ask people what the most popular team in the country is, odds are, the Dallas Cowboys might be the number one answer. If they're not, then they're absolutely up there. The Cowboys are America's team for a reason, as they have a nationwide following. There's a reason that they're always on TV, and there's a reason that when they're good, the ratings for Cowboys games eclipse the ratings for other games. If it makes logical sense to do so, then affiliates are going to show the Cowboys. If it can be done, then affiliates are going to find a way to show the Cowboys. It's that simple. There is a reason that you're always seeing the Cowboys, and it's because the numbers don't lie. So imagine if an affiliate had the option to choose between two teams, with one of them being the Cowboys, who were pretty good, and the other one being a team that's not so good, and doesn't really have anything to play for, and the affiliate chooses the other team. They don't choose the Cowboys. You can imagine that this decision would cause a ton of backlash and uproar, and would spark a lot of controversy. Well, with the game that you've been watching this whole time, that's exactly what happened. Because in 1984, when the Dallas Cowboys were playing the Indianapolis Colts, one television station down in Texas that you assume would show the Cowboys game opted not to. And let's just say that when the word got out about their decision, they instantly regretted it. Because this is the story behind one of the biggest NBC broadcasting controversies of the 1984 NFL season. Before I talk about the controversy in question, we need some context to understand the importance of the two games at hand, as well as why NBC even had the rights to both of these games in the first place. It's October 28, 1984. It's week 9 of the NFL season, and as we're in the second half of the year, we've got an interconference battle down at Texas Stadium between the Indianapolis Colts and the Dallas Cowboys. This is an important game for both of these teams, particularly the Cowboys. The Colts are 3-5, and five, with one of those losses being in humiliating fashion to the St. Louis Cardinals on a really dumb coaching decision late, which you can learn more about by clicking the card in the upper right corner. They have no room for error the rest of the way. Sitting three back of a playoff spot with eight to play, they really need to win out to have any shot at making it. As for the Cowboys, though, they have a much more realistic shot at the playoffs, and this game has high importance for them. Right now, the NFC East is an absolute dogfight. Not only is Dallas 5-3, but so are Washington and St. Louis, with New York and Philadelphia right behind at 4-4. Four four. The Cowboys haven't looked great as of late. They've lost two of their last three, and they nearly lost to the New Orleans Saints the previous week on Sunday night and would've if Ken Stabler wasn't the worst quarterback in football by that point. You can learn more about that comeback by clicking the card in the upper right corner. They need to win this one to get back on track and to have, at the very least, a tie for first place in the division. So this is a pretty big game for the biggest team in the country. We've established the stakes and established what's on the line. So you would think that down in Texas, the entire state would be showing the skate. However, there was one small problem, and that is the fact that Texas has two teams. Along with the Dallas Cowboys, they have the Houston Oilers. Now usually, this isn't a problem. The Cowboys are an NFC team, so all of their games are usually on CBS, and the Oilers are an AFC team, so all of their games are usually on NBC. But the way that television rights worked back then was that it all depended on who the road team was, not the home team. Any games where the AFC team was the road team would be played on NBC, and any games where the NFC team was the road team would be played on CBS. 
the Cowboys Colts game was taking place in Dallas at Texas Stadium. And seeing as the Colts were the road team, and seeing as the Colts were in the AFC, that meant that NBC, not CBS, had the rights to this game. And this wouldn't be a problem at all if the Oilers were playing at a different time, or if the Oilers were at home and playing a team in the NFC. That, however, was not the case, as at 1 o'clock Eastern, as in the same time as the Cowboys-Colts game, you had this game right here in the AFC Central between the Houston Oilers and the Cincinnati Bengals. The bad news was that this game would be shown on NBC. The good news, though, was that this should not have mattered because the Oilers absolutely stunk. Seriously, no one wanted to watch the Oilers back then. Through eight weeks, they were the worst team in football, sitting at 0-8. They had scored just 103 points, or an average of 12.8 points per game, which was the second worst total in the league. They had allowed 234 points, or an average of 29.2 points per game, which was the worst total in the league. Their point differential of minus 131 was, by a country mile, the worst total in the league, with no other team being in the negative triple figures. And get this, of Houston's eight games, not a single one of them was even within one possession, meaning that not only were they losing games, but they were getting blown out in the process. Through eight weeks, the Oilers were seriously putting in a claim to being one of the worst teams in NFL history. So to say that interest in watching this team take on the 2-6 Cincinnati Bengals was low would be putting it mildly. So much so that the game was blacked out in Houston due to blackout rules for not filling up the Astrodome, as the stadium was somewhat of a ghost town. So those were the two games that NBC affiliates across Texas had the option of showing, unless you were in Houston and Dallas, since the respective home games were blacked out you could show the more popular Dallas Cowboys fighting for first place in the NFC East and sitting pretty with a 5-3 record. Or you could show the winless Houston Oilers who have nothing to play for and who have had every game so far being decided by multiple possessions. And for practically every NBC affiliate in the state, the choice was obvious. It was like asking someone, would you rather have 100 bucks? Or would you rather have me punch you for a full minute and there's nothing you can do about it? Like, duh, you're taking the hundred bucks. When given the option between Colts Cowboys and Bengals Oilers, yeah, they were taking Colts Cowboys. Austin took the Cowboys game. San Antonio took the Cowboys game. Rio Grande took the Cowboys game. And you would think that KRIS, as in the NBC affiliate in Corpus Christi, would do the same and would take the Cowboys game. However, they did not. Instead, they opted not to show the game they've been watching between the Colts and the Cowboys, and chose the option between the Bengals and the Oilers for some inexplicable reason. Now this was bizarre, because Corpus Christi was predominantly Cowboys country. The Oilers were somewhat of an afterthought in the city. In 1978, the local newspaper, the Corpus Christi Kohler Times, ran a poll asking people who they like more, and whether that was the Cowboys or the Oilers. Keep in mind that back then, the Oilers were a legitimately great team. They were in their Love You Blue era. They were a team making it to the AFC Championship. They were a team that was consistently in the playoffs. And they were a team that had arguably the best player in the entire league in running back Earl Campbell who you can learn more about by clicking the card in the upper right corner. Yet, even despite all of that, Cowboy fans outnumber Oiler fans by a score of 74% to 26%. Three out of every four people in the city were Cowboy fans. And remember, this was in 1978. This was at a time when the Oilers were really good. This was at a time when it was easy to root for them. Now, it's 1984 and the Cowboys are still plowed mainstays and playing in the NFC Championship nearly every year, while the Oilers are the literal worst team in football and have been bad for a few years. So you would think that the percentage in favor of the Cowboys 
would be even higher than it was six years ago. Alas, despite all of that, KRIS, the Corpus Christi NBC affiliate, opted to show the Oilers Bengals game. And the logic behind it was rather bizarre. I'll put it that way. Said Rick Chavez, the sports director for KRIS, on why he decided to have his station show the Oiler game over the Cowboy game, we normally get our feed from Houston. We take what the network offers, and what they're offering is the Houston game. But Houston's not even showing the game. They're not allowed to show the game. It's blacked out. They're going to be showing the Cowboys game in all likelihood. Can't you get the game through another NBC affiliate elsewhere in the state? Well, according to Chavez, that was absolutely possible. They could get the game through an affiliate in San Antonio, which would make more sense, as San Antonio is significantly closer to Corpus Christi than Houston is. But as Chavez said, it's too late to do that. Plus, we're concerned that our regular Oiler fans might be unhappy, although we wouldn't be surprised if we received some complaints from Cowboys fans. So let me get this straight. You had the option to show the Cowboys game, but decided because of your own laziness that you were not going to try to get it. You were also concerned that Oiler fans would be unhappy that they couldn't see their 0-8 team play, even though if they wanted to see their team play at this point, they could just buy tickets to the game and make the three-hour drive to Houston, since the game was nowhere close to sold out. And even though Cowboy fans outnumber Oiler fans by a healthy margin in the city. Did you not think that went through at all? That's like the New York CBS affiliate today opting to show the Steelers game over the Jets game, because they know that if they didn't do that, then Steeler fans would be upset. Meanwhile, you fail to take into account that you would get more complaints the other way around from Jet fans, since Jet fans outnumber Steeler fans in New York by a pretty big margin. This decision by KRIS made no sense whatsoever. None at all. Why they opted to show an 0-8 team playing over the Dallas Cowboys, who were better, who were playing a more important game, and who were more popular in the city, truly defies all logic. But that's what they decided to do. That is, until 24 hours later. Remember how I said that sports director Rick Chavez wouldn't be surprised if Cowboy fans called in and complained about this decision? Well, I'm going to take a wild guess and say that he was right. Because not even one day later, Chavez backtracked and KRAS officials announced that there was a change of plans. Now... The Oilers Bengals game would not be on television in Corpus Christi. Instead, it would be the game that you were watching this whole time, as the Dallas Cowboys would be shown on TV, taking on the Indianapolis Colts, like they were in just about every other city and every other major market in the state. Granted, it never should have taken this long to come to this decision in the first place, seeing as it was so painfully obvious, but at least they finally came to their senses. Corpus Christi, after a ton of drama and confusion, was going to be getting their Dallas Cowboys after all. As for what happened in both of the games, well, in the game between these two teams behind me that the NBC affiliate in Corpus Christi decided to air, the Cowboys won convincingly, taking it by a final score of 22-3, never trailing at any point, and more than doubling Indy's total yardage. The Cincinnati-Houston game was no better as Cincinnati dominated that one and won by a final score of 31-13. Whichever game the NBC affiliate in Corpus Christi decided to pick, they were screwed from a competitive standpoint, as both games were blowouts. But I think a lot more people were happy with the Cowboys game than if they showed the Oilers game. I'll just put it that way. A situation like this just goes to show you how popular the Dallas Cowboys are, especially in the state of Texas. The affiliate announces that they're not showing the Cowboys. All hell presumably breaks loose. And not even 24 hours later, they reverse course faster than one reverses when doing the cha-cha slide. Again, why it even came to this is baffling. Because showing the Cowboys in the first place seemed like the logical decision from the start, due to their popularity and the importance of the scheme. 
especially when compared to the other game. But at least KRAS got it right. Even if it took a bit to get there. Because on this day, KRAS learned a valuable lesson that when it comes to the Cowboys, you really don't want to mess with Texas. Get your official Jaguar Gear 9 merchandise by going to jj9shop.com and be sure to like and subscribe as it really helps the channel out a lot. Join me every Wednesday night where we'll play NFL trivia for cash prizes at 9 p.m. Eastern over on Twitch. To learn more about the history of college football, subscribe to Jaguar Gator 8. To learn more about the history of Major League Baseball, subscribe to Jaguar Gator 7. Also, special thanks to all of our Patreon supporters for helping out the channel. Your support is greatly appreciated. See how you can become a patron and request future video topics in the description below.